The Department of State Operations and Embassy Security Authorization Act provides our diplomats with the tools they need to do their job effectively and as safely as possible. Passing this authorization bill is a basic committee responsibility, and I very much appreciate the collaboration that I have had with Ranking Member Engel. This is a bipartisan bill, and together we have worked to incorporate the input of a large number of committee members. It is a bill we should be proud of, especially in this time of growing threats abroad, and I am very hopeful that we will be able to send it to the Senate and reach agreement to authorize State Department operations as it should be. Now, here is the point, members. If signed into law, this would be the first such authorization bill in over a decade. That is why our cooperation on this measure is so important. From a committee standpoint, authorizing these programs will increase our oversight ability. It will improve committee members' ability to legislate new programs, saving money, and reforming old ones. And while this bill is fiscally responsible, representing a nearly 9 percent overall cut in spending from last year, it fully funds the administration's embassy security request. It also contains important embassy security reforms in response to the Benghazi attack. These include requiring that high-risk posts be designated, enhanced planning for rapid deployment of military resources in response to a crisis, and funding for more Marine Guards at embassy sites. Very important, the bill contains a provision championed by Mr. Radel and Ms. Rankle that will award local security guard contracts on the basis of best value rather than lowest cost. For our highest threat posts, we need the highest quality security personnel. In the fall, we will turn to reforming the State Department's Accountability Review Board process, which looks at attacks on our diplomatic facilities, continuing the Committee's focus on embassy security. Specific savings in this legislation comes from ending outdated reporting requirements and limiting Foreign Service pay. This legislation also caps State Department appropriations levels. I think we can all agree that the Department must make better use of the resources it has. I appreciate the support of my colleagues on this critical piece of legislation and turn now to the Ranking Member for any, any remarks that Mr. Engel might have.